Hi YouTubers, um, it's been a while since I made a video and uh, mostly that's because there's not much update that I have to share with you guys until today and um, what I have here is a one ounce Silver Eagle a 2011 Silver Eagle that was purchased for my son with his allowance money that he had received and uh, the when we uh, the, the, the experience I'm about to tell you is, is very interesting and it raises a lot of question regarding where silver is heading and uh, okay let me get to the story here uh, sorry to uh, keep you in suspense here but anyways, I went. You know, I took him to the uh, cash for gold place today, and uh, you know, I asked for one ounce silver eagle, and the cashier says, you know, it's thirty four dollars. That's fine. Um, we'll go ahead and pay cash. And uh, the next thing he asked me was, he need he needed my uh, driver's license so he can make a photocopy of it. So I was like, whoa. You know, this has never happened before. You know, I, I mean, I can't understand if I was selling a bunch of silver and then they wanted my, you know, they wanted to see my ID or make a copy of it. Even even then, that seems kind of unreasonable. But, you know, I mean, especially in this case, I'm paying um, $34, you know, in cash for this coin. And they still wanted to make a copy of my photo ID my you know my driver's license so obviously with this being said <laughs> you know I mean common sense tells you why why do they need that ID for what do they need a photocopy of it are they keeping track keeping records you now of all the you know all the people that's ever bought silver and you know also raises the question of what you know where the you know what the future holds for silver, you know, are they planning on conf confiscating silver, or you know, it's just it's it's interesting to you know to see this. I mean, because it just makes no absolutely no sense at all for them to ask for my ID, especially a copy of it. Okay, it's not like I'm paying with credit card. You know, even with credit card, they still don't make a copy of your ID. It's not like I'm buying. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not buying a dangerous weapon. I'm not buying a car. You know, I'm not buying a gun. So it, it's just crazy how they, you know, what, what what happened to me today? I don't know if you guys run into the same problem um, when you go buy silver, or you know, is this just an isolated incident, um, or is just something new that they're doing? You know. But I thought I shared this with you guys, and uh, please leave a comment. And you know, if you know anything, or if you have anything happen to you like this, you know, that you would like to share your experiences with, with us, with me, um, be interesting to hear. And obviously, if you have any opinions on where silver is going, meaning you know whether there's any words of confiscation or anything. Please leave a comment. I'm interested. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one.